Oscar Seeks a Friend by Paulette Pollack. I lost a tooth. Never mind, I hear you say. But in my case, it's a very serious matter. It's hard for a small, ugly skeleton to make a friend. And with a missing tooth, I look so dreadful that I thought I'd never, ever have anyone to play with except Tag. So one day, when I saw a little girl burying a tooth in the ground, I stopped dead. Uh -uh. I coughed so I wouldn't give her a fright. I asked if she could kindly give me her tooth to make me look less scary. But all she said was that she needed it too, because if you bury a tooth, your dreams will come true. Then she looked at me properly and burst out laughing. Yes, she said, with a tooth missing, I really did look frightful. So, all right, she'd give me her tooth as long as I helped her find a friend because that was the dream she wanted to come true. She took me by the hand and off we ran. She said she'd like to take her friend to a meadow and show them a rainbow. She wanted them to smell the scent of wet grass, meet her mom, and see where they lived. Then they'd go to the seaside together. Then she'd tell her friend about the mystery island she would sail to one day. She and her friend would talk and talk forever, sharing their biggest secrets, dreams, and other very important things. I loved everything I'd seen and thought I'd like to show her something too. So I took her by the hand and we went the other way. First we went to the park. There we listened to music and strolled about in all the places I love best. Then I showed her a huge library full of books I hadn't yet had time to read. Later we went to look at butterflies sleeping among the branches of trees. After that it was time for her to go home. She said she was pleased to have met me. She wanted to know if we could meet again the next day. I said yes and promised I'd be right there waiting for her. And do you know what else? I gave her back her tooth. Because I think I found what I was looking for. The End